Today I changed the transmission fluid in a 2003 Toyota Highlander. I got my fluid at Walmart. There's the uh, old one. There's the... Uh, there's the box for the transmission filter. The box says to use 3.5 to 3.7 quarts of fluid. Um, it's 10 millimeter. I used a swivel socket. I used a flat wrench with a uh, ratchet thing that kind of flexes and and then the ratchets, ratchets, ratcheting. I also used a an extension with a little swivel on it with a regular 10 millimeter socket. And then I used uh, this wrench here that I got at O'Reilly's. It's basically it's a 7 8 ratcheting wrench with a reverse thing on it. And you buy a set of these little flat sockets that actually um, fit down in, in there like that. And it makes it really flat. And you can get your bolts started with that so you don't strip them out. And then once you get them partway undone, finish them with the wrench, probably this end, so you don't um, get this stuck in there. But I had to use this because mine were blue Loctited in from the factory, like seriously blue Loctited. I had actually stripped out a couple of them, and I had to put a little bit of foil down inside this and it helped grab hold of the couple stripped out ones I had kind of stripped out a little bit. To give you an idea what I'm talking about I'm going to try to show you this. Uh, okay. That's your clearance under this truck. There's your frame and uh, the bolts and, and you can't fit a socket in there you know you can't fit a socket a regular socket in there it's hard to get a wrench but and it's but, but it is doable I did it if I can do it anybody can do it it's not easy it takes some time but there you go and I hope this video helps uh, I made the video because I had so much trouble doing it. I figured somebody else might need a little extra help other than what's out there already. Alright, bye-bye.